This particular grant is, um, is, is particularly pleasing to get funded for me and particularly pleasing to get uh, data out of because it was, came out of an idea that we had with uh, Wes Fraser when he was a PhD student here that we could take his work on pollen chemistry and apply it to understand um, fossil records and potentially reconstruct fossil sunshine. And it's a little bit sunny today. Um, and it's the fact that there is this relationship between uh, sunshine, uh, UVB, and the chemistry in pollen grains and that we can actually use that chemical change to track how the amount of sunlight hitting plants has changed through time. And that gives us a whole new window into understanding past environments. And that's what really excites me about this project. Well, I've always been interested in being outside, uh, doing things outside, and I did uh, geography, history and English literature at A-level, um, not terribly well. Uh, but I ended up at uh, the University of Hull doing a physical geography degree and that was when I really started to get interested in how we understand the landscape around us, how things have changed through time. So off the back of uh, my BSc I got a, a 2-1 in, in physical geography from there and then went on to the University of Cambridge and did a master's degree in quaternary science. After that, I did a, a short stint also working in Cambridge as a technician and then um, went on to the University of Leicester and did a PhD there thinking about modern pollen vegetation relationships. And that's when I got much more interested in ecology. So not just paleoecology, how things have changed in the past, but about the planet around us today. Following my PhD, I then did a postdoc out at Florida Institute of Technology uh, working in the high Andes, uh, thinking about vegetation change around Lake Titicaca. And then I came here to the Open University as a uh, research fellow and worked here for uh, approximately nine years now on a range of projects which have sort of culminated in this Lake Vizumtwi project, um, looking at the pollen chemistry. And now uh, in the next month or so I'll be moving on and take up a new position at the University of Amsterdam as head of paleoecology and landscape ecology there, um, which will be quite a, an exciting uh, opportunity and a whole range of new opportunities to do um, different and uh, bigger, broader projects.